Welcome to ECU Masters Training Part 6. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how the volumetric efficiency fuel calculations are performed in our EMU Black engine management. Now, before we jump into all the tables and how the calculations are performed, let's talk about the fundamental equation that's going on in the background that's going to dictate how much fuel is actually delivered into the engine. And that's going to be fuel mass is equal to our air mass divided by target air fuel. Now, just to refresh some things if you're not familiar with the concept of mass, if we have a cup and we know what the volume of the cup would be and we fill it with water or we fill that cup with gold, water and gold are gonna have two completely different densities. So the mass of the cup when it's filled with water and the mass of the cup when it's filled with gold are gonna have completely different masses associated with that. And that's something we can physically relate to. So when we're talking about mass, it's going to be the volume, in the case of the cup, we know the volume of it, and then the density. The density would be what we would have actually inside of the cup. So water has its own density, gold has its own density, and then we can have two distinct masses within the exact same volume of that cup. So when we're talking about air mass, it's going to be how much volume of air we have entering our engine, and it's going to have the density portion of that air entering the engine. So just talking about how much volume of air an engine can move and how much volume of air is gonna be entering the engine isn't gonna be enough to characterize things properly. We have to be able to factor in the density portion, and that's where the air mass is gonna come into play. So when we're talking about looking at the air mass, we're gonna know what the volume is, we're going to know what the density is. Now we're gonna know the density based on the barometric pressure that we're operating our engine at, as well as the air temperature. So as we go up in elevation or we go up in air temperature, our density will decrease, meaning the amount of oxygen molecules packed into that same volume of air is going to be less. And just the same if we go downwards, in our elevation or we drop in air temperature, our density will increase and we're gonna have more dense air that's entering the engine. So if we're just looking at a slice of air that's entering the motor and we look at it at different elevations or different temperatures, the amount of air mass entering the engine will be completely different. Now this is substantial because as our air mass changes, the amount of fuel we need to deliver into the engine will change as well. So we have to be able to factor in the density portion of our air mass that's coming into our engine or the volume of air that's coming into our engine and that's what the air mass will represent and that's part of how the volumetric efficiency calculations work. Now when we go back to the equation, we talk about our fuel mass is equal to air mass divided by our target air fuel. We're going to have the air mass represented by our volumetric efficiency fuel table. Now the volumetric efficiency table is gonna be based on our map pressure as well as our engine RPM. And the values within the table are gonna be in a scale from zero to up to maybe 200%. We'll find that the percentage is gonna be how much air mass is gonna be packed into the volume of our engine. Now we're gonna be defining the volume of our engine based on the engine displacement. So within our ECU master software, we have a basic parameter we need to enter and we need to make sure that the volume or the displacement of our engine is entered correctly because that's gonna be telling the calculations how much air mass is actually gonna be ingesting into the engine, which will affect how much fuel mass is going to be essentially uh, delivered to the engine and how much fuel is actually gonna be uh, put into the engine to match that air mass. So the volumetric efficiency table is essentially gonna be what we represent when we're tuning how much air mass goes into the motor. Now there's gonna be some other things that go into this calculation. The map pressure sensor is gonna be playing a factor um, as well as the air temp sensor. So that's gonna be accounting for the air density portion of that air mass calculation. So we can think of the volumetric efficiency table as a way that we as a tuner can represent the correct air mass entering the motor. Now, we have another table here, and that's gonna be our target air fuel table, and that's going to be defining what we want the air fuel to run at. Now, if we're taking a look at that equation again of fuel mass equal to air mass divided by target air fuel, the target air fuel will play a role in what the fuel delivery is going to be. So if we have a known air mass, and then we know at a given load and engine RPM, depending on where we're operating at in the table, we're going to find that we have a target air fuel that we would specify. By knowing the air mass, by knowing that target air fuel, we'll then be able to achieve a fuel mass or be able to calculate a fuel mass. Now, some things about this. When we're tuning the volumetric efficiency table, we wanna represent the VE values so that we're hitting 
the target air fuel that we're requesting. That's gonna be when we know we have our volumetric efficiency table dialed in correctly. So if we've dialed in our VE tables so that we're hitting the target air fuel, and we wanna change what the target air fuel is going to be, we no longer have to jump into the volumetric efficiency table to make our editing changes. We can do it right into the target air fuel table. So if we wanna richen up the target air fuel by richening up that value or dropping a value lower, it's gonna be dividing by a smaller number. Therefore, it's gonna be driving up the fuel mass that we're gonna be delivering to the engine and ultimately uh, putting fuel into the motor. So now that we understand how the VE table, which is gonna be our air mass representation, and our target air fuel table, which is gonna be what we're gonna be part of that equation, when we can calculate what we would then have for a fuel mass. Now, the thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.